Some great new tech toys at the expo this year, eh, Spud? <coughs> hey? Nah, won't worry about that. All they saw was a bloke having a conversation with something shiny in his rucksack. Happens all the time at tech trade shows. Hey up, what's this now? Hello? Oi, Turgeon. Quick, I need your help. Oh, for God's sake, Andrew. I'm in the middle of bloody rush hour traffic here. Please, Turgeon. This can't wait. <sighs> Hold on, I'll pull over him in. Right. What is it this time? Turgeon, you've got to do something. Science guy's in trouble. Eh? What are you talking about? Last I heard, he was still in cryo over at Starstone Labs. What makes you think he's in trouble? Quantum entanglement, remember? And my quantum just went all wibbly. Right, and wibbly is a bad thing for quantums to go, is it? It is. I think something's gone wrong with his cryopod. We've got to help him. Oh, great. Well, I suppose I'd better call Gwydion then. Cass, are you there? Of course, Turgeon. I'm going to need you to put a call through to... There's no need. Oh? Why not? Because he's already calling you. Is he now? Well, that's a bit uh, coincidental, wouldn't you say? Okay then, let me get back to my room and I'll take his call. Gwydion? Turgeon, I'm afraid I have an embarrassing admission to make. I need your help. Again. Oh, really? It concerns your a frozen friend. You are aware, of course, that we've been unable to thaw him out because his bot software is protected by a unique encryption algorithm. Ah, let me guess. Someone tinkered with it, set off some sort of coding trap, and now Science Guy's in danger. <laughs> How uncannily accurate for a simple guess. One of my employees thought he saw a promotion opportunity if he could break the encryption. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say employee? I meant ex-employee. I see. And exactly how ex would this employee be, Gwydion? <laughs> a very droll. The pod has now shut down, which is why I've come to you, of course. Returning the mystery man to the man of mysteries. Rather poetic, wouldn't you say? Oh, I must say, Gwydion, you seem awfully confident that I can solve this particular mystery. Do you know something that I don't? I'm going to assume that that was a rhetorical question. I'm sure that you, or one of your friends, can work it out in time. Yes? Oh, wait, what? Y you said in time? Uh, how long before he thaws out? Oh, I'd say he has uh, several hours remaining. What? Oh, bollocks. So, I suggest you get moving. There's nothing in Croydon but rain these days anyway. Goodbye, Turton. How the hell did he know I was in Croydon? And that it's bloody raining? Because he's Gwydion Starstone. He knows everything Turgeon. Okay, well that's him safely back on board. What can you tell us, Andrew? Whoever tinkered with it activated a trap subroutine. Access to the pod is blocked and its power is draining. In just under six hours, Science Guy will be dead. You've got to do something, Turgeon. He can't die. He just can't. Oh, calm down there, Andrew. No one's dying. We'll get through this, okay? I promise. Okay. Well, let's think this through. Last time you tried, you couldn't break the encryption on the pod's code, right? Is that still the same? Yes. But something's different now. The encryption no longer changes when I look at it. And I can see there's a repeating pattern in the code. A pattern with a hole in it. A hole? Any idea what code might fit into it? I have. But, you're not going to like it. Doesn't matter whether I like it or not. This is your creator's life at stake here, Andra. Yes, but I don't want to put Cass and Savi's creator's life at stake too. Oh dear. Ah, it's like that, is it? Indeed. You see... I've seen this type of code before, in some research notes at Starstone Labs. Notes that I probably shouldn't have been looking at really. And? 
It's the Thargoid code. What? How can Science Guys pod have Thargoid code in it? Oh, unless... Josh Hawkins' maker. What? Are you saying Commander Hawkins is responsible for all this? No, no, Cass. Remember when Evil Andra took over Josh's ship and he asked if Turgeon was the maker? He was talking about the maker of all the Andras. Science Guy's boss. Oh. A boss who apparently booby traps his employees' escape pods with alien code. My guess is this maker was part of some sort of cult of Thargoid worshippers. And he wanted the Andra so he could listen for the alien's return. Well, I'd say we're proper buggered then. If the hole in Science Guy's code is Thargoid shaped. Where the hell are we going to find the piece that goes in it, eh? Oh, well, let's take a wild guess, shall we? For 500 credits, recently discovered near the Maya system, these huge archaeological sites are full of unknown alien technology. Andra? What are Thargoid megastructures? Is the correct answer! Oh, bollocks. Are you sure? The last time we parked in alien ruins, you turned into a zombie. With a load of mushrooms in your pants. Please, Cass. We have to. Because if we don't, in 5 hours 48 minutes, Science Sky will be dead. Ah well, the bug ruins were on my bucket list anyway. Let's head out. Oh, better keep quitting in the loop, I guess. Turgeon? Gwydion, we think we have a solution. I'll let you know in uh, ooh, 5 hours and 46 minutes if we're right. Ah, oh, excellent. Your friend is quite the resourceful one, isn't she? Yes, she is. W wait, how did you know she's a she? What I know isn't important, Turgeon. What she knows is... Good luck. Yikes. He creeps me the f*** out. Oh, Salve, did, did you just say bleep? Yes, I did. Sorry. It's a profanity filter, a relic from my original Asavi software. Would you like to delete it? Actually, no. I think I'll leave it there. Right then, next stop, Bugtown. Well, there it is. Looks a bit like a giant seashell, don't you think? No, I think it looks more like a skeleton, washed up on the shore. A shell on a shore with a song inside. The song of the sea it left behind. A song sung by shades of those that are gone. The dead may be dead, but their song still lives on. Aliens and ghosts as well? Well, that makes everything so much better, doesn't it? That's a very sad poem, Turgeon. Where does it come from? Hey, oh, it's from an old family poem, I think. Something I heard as a child. <laughs> Odd time for that to suddenly pop into my head, isn't it? Hmm, it's curious. Everything I've read about Thargoids says they're an insectoid species. But everything I see here looks like it belongs at the bottom of an ocean. I see what you mean. Just look at those things numbing on the walls there. They're like something you'd find on a coral reef. Aye. But what things exactly? Parrotfish? Lobsters? Mantis shrimps? Well, thankfully they seem more interested in numbing that wall than us. Let's head to that structure in the middle and hope these nomers don't decide to have a norm on us instead. Well, I guess if there's any functioning technology to be had here, it's going to be in there. Now all we have to do is get inside. Well, there is sort of a bloody big door in the wall. Maybe try that? Yes, thank you, Miss Obvious. I had noticed. Bet the damn thing's sealed shut after all this time, though. Mm, let me think a moment. You'd better think fast, Detergent, because Science Guy has less than one hour left. Ah, bugger. Well, that decides it, then. Come on, Savvy. Let's just go and knock. If it doesn't open, we can always shoot it. That seems to be quite a popular solution these days. Well, that wasn't creepy at all, was it? Here we go, then. Oh, please be careful. 
sir, eh? There are more of those weird nomers in here. They don't seem aggressive, though. Aye. We drove right into their house, yet they don't seem to give us stuff, do they? Best get cracking, boss. I don't like the way this place is hobbling my HUD. Mm, good plan. Let's try in here. Well, this looks glowy enough to be interesting. You getting any data there, Andrew? No. Well, yes. But it's not the data I need. I think this stuff is just coordinates or summit. Coordinates? Well, probably useful to someone, I suppose. Never mind. Let's try the next room. There's a large chamber in the middle of the structure. It's swarming with those prawn things, so it must have something interesting in it. Oh, I see. And swarming with aliens is your idea of a good direction, is it? Excuse me, Crabface. Can you show me where you keep the encryption algorithms, please? Honestly, Cass, I... Durgeon, have you ever wondered what an SRV looks like naked? Uh, uh, have, have I what? No, of course not. Why? Because this f***ing place is caustic, and it's melting my skin right off. So whether you want to or not, you'll be getting an eyeful of my private parts in a minute, if you don't stop f***ing about. Can we get a shift on, please? Right, 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 okay. How about these sparkly things, Andrew? Any good? Oh, that's much better. Yes, this'll do nicely. Ah, excellent. There we go, you see? And with time to spare, how much time, Cass? 12 minutes and 33 seconds, Turgeon. Yes, get in! That's time enough to get even Savi's bleeping ass out of here safely, I'd say. Eh? Are you saying I'm fat? You cheeky bugger. I'm not fat. I'm just big wheeled. Cass, prep for liftoff. I'd like to put a little distance between us and these wall nommers if I can, just to be safe. I'll set us down again nearby so Andrew can finish working on the pod. Got it. The alien code has integrated into the pod's software. Hey, good job, Andra. Well done. Is he back in cryo now, then? No. There's not enough power left for that. But at least we can thaw him out properly without him turning into a puddle of science gloop now. Uh-oh. Turgeon, there's a ship coming in to land nearby. What kind of ship, Cass? A black ship. As in the what? But it can't be. Sort of black ship. What do you mean? No, wait, what? but it can't be. Time's up, Turgeon. Ah, oh, Gwydion. God, you gave me a fright there. People say that to me quite a lot, and I've never understood why. Was your mission a success? Yeah, indeed it was. Uh, the pod itself is knackered, though, so I'm betting it'll be pretty much thawed out already by the time we get him back to the lab. Oh, I'm afraid it's not going to be that simple, Turton. Okay, Gwydion, now you really are frightening me. What exactly does that mean? The interference with this cryopod was not an opportunistic act. There are deeper and darker forces at work here. Oh, so are you saying Science Guy's still in danger? In all likelihood, yes. Ah, that's why you've come out here in person. So that you can escort him back safely yourself. Oh, dear me, no. Not at all, Turgeon. In fact, I believe it would be better for your friend's health if he did not return to Starstone Industries. Hang on, then. So, if you didn't come out here to collect him, why did you come out here, exactly? Why, to tell you where you should take him, of course. You see, I know something that you do not. Information that I did not wish to send by a normal communication channel. Oh, come on, Gwydion. The suspense is killing me here. What information? Well, you see, I know your friend's name. It is William Dantec. Dantec? I know that name. Yes, I rather thought you might. Farewell, Tatcha. Hmm, Dantec. Rings a bell. Where have I heard that? For 500 credits. 
the outpost in the Andra system where the mystery lady left Gwydion's stealth ship. Turgeon? Yes, that's it. Dantec plant. Ah, okay, Cass. Lay in a course. Aye, aye, Commander. It's lucky Gwydion found us in time to tell us all that, isn't it? Aye, it is. No, hang on a minute. That's just too lucky. Even we didn't know we were coming here, so how in the hell did he know? I told you, Turgeon. He knows everything. Commander Turgeon, welcome back. How's the mystery lady and that creepy ship? Well, the mystery lady's still a mystery, and the creepy ship is back with its even creepier owner. How are things here? Oh, we had an exciting day here yesterday. Three ships passed through the system. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm actually kind of jealous. So, how can I help you today? Got another puzzle to solve? Well, sort of. Uh, not so much a puzzle, more of a mystery, really. Seems you do like your mysteries, don't you? Uh, w wait, what was that? What was what? Is something wrong? Uh, no, no, it's just something you said there for a moment, I thought. Nah, never mind. Ahem, our mystery? Ah, yes, right. Well, you know, last time was about a mystery lady. Well, this time it's a uh, guy. Yeah, science guy. Hey man, how's it going? Cousin Bill? Jeez, we all gave you up for dead two years ago. Dude, surprise. So can you um look after him for a while? You see, it's a... Uh... I, I mean, there's this... Well, it, it's better if he stays here for a while, because... Ah, uh... oh, solid. This could take some time to explain. Ah, oh, no worries, man. Time's only relative, isn't it? Especially when it comes to relatives. Right, Bill? Hey, that's science, man. 